Hey everyone, this is Anthony Andel with Why Not Angling, and today we're at Lake Hefner in Oklahoma City. We're going to try and set up for some carp. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to Camp Why Not. We got our Mustang set up with all sorts of cool stuff. Gadgets, bait, chairs, rods. Haven't moved an inch, but I just put them out. And Lake Hefner. Well, here's hoping that we actually get some fish today. My buddy Luke at Catfish and Carp showed this neat little trick. Um, I like to spend, oh, Freudian slip. I like to save money. So, we have a drywall screw with the end cut off, my swivel, just a little weight, and then this is just pre-bought snell hooks from like Eagle Claw or it may even be some store brand, but I just attached a hair rig to the existing leader. Uh, there are some better ways to go about doing this, but this is just the way I do it to get out here and get fishing. It's better if you send some time the night before, tie up a whole bunch of hair rigs because more than likely you're going to lose some. And it gets pretty exciting, so you don't want to sit, be sitting here and not be able to fish. You don't want to be tying hair rigs when you should be fishing. So, we're going to go ahead and get our hair rig kit. So we got to take this little tool here and on this one I'm going to go ahead and use some corn. Okay, I think this is good. We're going to try packing this around our, our drywall screw. I just made a ball and I'm going to shove it in the middle so that it looks like it's holding together pretty well. Yeah, not bad. So then we take our hook from our hair rig and we just hook it into that big dough ball. The idea is that along with this other corn, we have some corn here with the bait stop attached to the hook. So I like to dip it in a little bit of water first and then repack it. Just seems to help seal that outside edge to hold this together a little bit longer during a cast. And we're just going to go right out in front of us here. So I made up some boilies. And I think I'm going to have to go with the smaller one because I don't have a lot of room on this. But... Um, these little guys are made out of shredded wheat, a couple eggs, and flour. And then I have some leftover chicken and waffle cereal. No one liked it around my house, so we'll see if the, if the fish do. And I have a drill. You can drill these out before using this, but I'm living dangerously. I'm going to see if I can just get it on there because I don't know. What about you, but I'm ready to catch some fish. Oh yeah, it's sliding right in. Hey everyone, just checking in. The carp seem to be rolling in this area. Uh, I saw two roll just now. They're not any great size, but I guarantee you they'll be fun if they can find my bait. So, uh, hold on to your hats. Hopefully we're fixing to get started. Make sure we're close enough here, because, uh, I really don't, I don't want to miss this. So. And it's on.
right, let's make sure we got our pliers. Quick release. That wasn't too big, but it was on the boiling. Alright, so I count that as number one. One, two, three. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. We got two in the water again. Uh oh. Oh. Yep. We ought to wear this one out a little bit more. One, I don't want to lose my gear. Two, I don't want to hurt the fish. But three, I really would rather get this off because I might get another one. This is a great start. If you want, man, if you got a section, start taking this and make little balls and just chunk it out there. That's just a, that's just a little chum. Hey, anything I can do to help you people catch? Uh, this stuff, pack bait. So you you pack. You pack it around there. There we go. 
You see why I like this? See that bruise? Yeah. That's from doing this so much. Oh, people, man, I've had people turn their nose up. They're like, you're car fishing. I'm like, I'm having a great time. I don't care if you like it or not. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you're taking drag. Okay, everyone, we're hooked up. I haven't even seen him yet. Come on. Yeah, he's pretty decent. I haven't even seen him. There he is. Not bad. Oh no, get out of there. Oh, I almost had him wrapped around the stick. Are you tired? Are you tired? Oh, you know what I was thinking of? What's that? That big old hook. He ain't gonna be able to bite. On that on that treble? Yep. You'd be surprised. If they take that whole thing in their mouth, they'd be able to. And they got a pretty big mouth. And they eat what's called boilies, which are those little round things. Mm -hmm. And if they can fit a boilie in their mouth, they should be able to fit that. But if not, man, I'll hook you up with a hair rig or something. Got to be careful. Here's where it'll snap my... Here's something else a lot of people don't know about these guys. They're so big yeah, and those hard scales that when you get them out on the bank, they'll hurt themselves. Internal injuries. Really? Yeah. So I try and do everything kind of... So what's this little ball dilly you got? Those are called boilies. So my hair rig, you put that on the end of it. You see, you see it there. See it? Yeah. Sticking out there. He sucked that in, but it's not attached to the hook except by a string. He tried to spit it back out, and that hook went <laughs> went right back in his mouth, right where you want it. That's crazy. So now he's nice and tired. Get big here. There we go. Hold him down so he doesn't hurt himself. I know a lot of people are like, just kill it. Carp are trash. These carp are old, you know, and they deserve some kind of respect. Exactly. There we go. And then now, since I have my cameras going, I can just go like this. And those are all carp. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to make a YouTube. You damn right, man. You'll see me, I'll be a star. What's your uh what's your YouTube deal? Uh you know like fishing knot? Yeah. Why not dot angling? Why not? Why not angling? My last name Gandal. Okay. Here. Why not? picking up that phone and videoing this. It's already going, I think. It should be sideways, though. Or the other way. That might be it. Nah, he's... I don't think he's as big as the last one. But he's pretty. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video everyone. I did get kicked off the lake a little bit early because there was just way too much wind.
but we'll keep doing some more videos. Uh, so like and subscribe so you can see my new videos that come out as they come out. Uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.